Hello, today I'm going to be taking a look at a tool I found on one of the RRC forums I go on and it was asking for some beta testers for the iPhone iCloud so I volunteered and then I've been given this app for Linux um, basically we're going to test it out and see how it goes so basically the tool's called iSwitch IME um, I've had a little look inside already, we'll just quickly go into the readme to give you a basic idea. Um, I switch, da 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 da, created by Raging Fox, this is a closed beta for testing purposes, use this with extreme caution, do not re um, redistribute this or you will be removed from blah blah blah. Um, and let's go down to the usage, uh, where is that, here we go, um, usage. Before you begin, make sure you have a R iPhone IME number to replace with the iPhone you wish to remove the iCloud lock from. Do not make up a random IME number. It must be a iPhone, no, iPhone IME that is yours. Place your iPhone into the recovery mode before running iSwitch IME. Once in recovery mode, run iSwitch and follow the steps. Do not disconnect while installs take in place. It could take over an hour for it to complete, so be patient. Okay, I've already prepared um, an iPhone 5 and I don't use it no more, it's got a cracked screen. So yeah, it's never on no more. So I've taken that IME number, I've, well, I've written it down. So we've got that prepared. prepared. So what we're gonna wanna do now, um, you will be have a look at the iPhone that we're going to be trying on. This is our iPhone 6, it's pretty old. Um, friend gave it to me, it was his ex girlfriend. She refused to unlock it for him, and yeah, I was unable to lock it for him. So, yeah, it's just been a paperweight in my drawer for X amount of time. Come on, uh, there we go. Oh, as you might know, it's um, just a typical. Typical iPhone, really. Um, country network, and there we go. Activation lock. Unfortunately, I tried many things and it hasn't been able to work, but yeah, so let's quickly turn this off and get it into recovery mode. So, to get into recovery mode we will need to push the power button and the um, home button it must be connected to a computer or it will not go into recovery mode so make sure you connect it into a computer and push the power and home button at the same time until you see the i think it's an itunes logo pop up and there we go now we're in recovery mode, let's go back to Linux and um, let's open up a terminal. Let's go to the directory, um, just drag that in. Um, let's have a little look inside. Right, so we're going to run the iSwitch IME.py, that's for Python, I think. Um, yeah, so we're just going to quickly run that. Right, here we go. So I don't know what's going on there. Oh, there we go. I switch army created by Raging Fox. Um, do you wish to? Do you wish to continue? Yes. Searching for a device. Um, oh, device found. Um, device detected. iPhone six. Megan. Oh, that's his. That's his bird's name. Oh, his ex bird. Um, IME number. Model. Firmware. Carrier EE, serial number, Wi Fi, Bluetooth. Okay, so got the basic information there. If you, uh, it must be an iPhone IME from an iPhone, you know the iCloud lot to. Entering a random IME number won't work. Enter the IME number that you, or oh, enter the IME number to switch. Okay, um, let's go to the folder. I just written down one already. Well, written down my iPhone 5 one, so it's enter that's into there now. Right, that's pacing, let's get that back big again. Um, where was I? Yeah, invented the IME number in, okay, I'm just gonna push enter. Um, is this correct? Uh, let me, yes. 
Um, switch IME. Yes. Right, scanning, starting scan. Right, I'll take it. This is the bit that might take up to an hour. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave this run and I'll get back to you once it's finished. Right, it seems to have been done. It seems to be booting up. Um, what's it say here? Now it says iPhone 6, name unknown, model, that's still the same. I am the number has changed. Firmware seems to, I think that's changed. Carrier unlocked, so that's pretty cool. It's not on EE no more. It's unlocked, um, serial, boom, boom, boom. That seems to be the same. Yeah. Let's have a quick little look. Um, right. So it's going to the phone. Right, hello. Um, everything normal then? Right, swipe. Uh, English. Okay, right. I'm not going to show you my Wi Fi password. You can understand that. Done. And uh, SIM required. There we go. iCloud lock removed. Um, what I need to do, they've been asking me to test a few things on it um, for a week and then hopefully everything will still be working and I'll post another video explaining everything and then hopefully I'll have a bit more details on when the public version will be released. I know they're going to do a few more testings on the uh, iPad soon, which I ain't got an iPad so I won't be involved in that. And also, rumour is they're going to change the name. At some point, um, when it does come out, I will release it. I will well, I'll update the um, description with the link. It's more likely going to be put on GitHub. Hope you enjoyed the video, and um, hopefully, I'll see you in about a week's time. Take care.